Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Talk Tissue. We are very excited today to be joined by Francois David, who is the Vice President of Sales, Marketing and Innovation at Cascade. Francois, thank you so much for taking the time today to talk to us. This has been a couple months in the making for us to get together and make this happen. Uh, first of all, thank you and, and welcome to uh, our segment here. Thank you very much, Brian, for inviting me. Very happy to be here today. Thanks, Francois. Um, a big reason we wanted to talk to you is uh, about a month or so ago, maybe longer than that, we published a story about your recent addition to Cat. You're a recent addition to Cascades, not only Cascades, but also uh, our industry, our tissue towel industry and away from home industry. And so we wanted to bring you on and present you to the industry as a whole. Um, we cater to Canada and the Americas and really anyone that speaks English. Um, and I know you speak French as well, and I apologize for not being able to do this in French, but uh, I think you'll you'll get a good audience uh, here today. Um, so first of all, I wanted to start with asking you a little bit, how is it going so far in your new role? Uh, kind of can you ex can you expand a little bit more on what your role entails? Yeah, for sure. So basically, uh, Brian, I joined Cascades about 18 months ago. Uh, right in the midst of COVID. So uh, started in a new industry for a new company uh, directly from my basement. Uh, <laughs> for the first uh, six to eight months, I got uh, my computer shipped to my house and my cell phone. So it was uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty different. Uh, but you know what? It's been quite a, a nice ride. And uh, yes, when I started, I was VP for both retail and pro on marketing and innovation. Okay. Uh, but last July, um, I uh, was lucky to be awarded uh, the position also of, of sales for Pro. So I now manage the whole commercial operation. Wow. So it, it, it's a great challenge. Uh, I have to say that I learn every day. Sure. And that's what, what I like about joining a, a new industry like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so my role really is, is to uh, take the team uh, through our new ambition. Uh, we worked with the Cascade leadership team uh, on a new strategic plan for the next five years. Okay. And and my role is really to take uh, the tissue group, but also the pro Cascades pro team to the next level. And uh, this is super exciting. Uh, I love this portion. And most importantly, I love building teams that are successful, that have fun at what they do uh, and learn this new industry that is uh, very palpitating. Uh, I love it. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm still learning every day. Yeah, I know. And, and it's exciting, too. I mean, it's 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 different and it's new to someone that's coming fresh into the industry that doesn't have the background. Right. It's a fresh perspective and you and you can surround yourself with people that know the industry that um, are familiar with the customers and such. Um, so there is something to be said there. It's 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 formulating your team and getting them together to to be to become successful. Um, exactly. So. And I, I have a very experienced team. Uh, so I'm, I'm very lucky, but one of the main mandates uh, that I've, I'm, I'm doing right now is really integrating the sales function and my marketing and innovation function so that we become a real integrated commercial team. Mm -hmm. I truly believe in the power of, of commercial teams. And I think that's how we're going to be successful at building, uh, you know, meaningful relationships with our current partners and customers sure. throughout the industry. Sure. And I know I know COVID has um, has added a new wrinkle into the system here into what we're doing. Have you been able to travel to any of the Cascades manufacturing sites? Have you been able to visit any any um, location? Not, not in 2020, but 2021 I've been I've been able. Uh, so that's that's been great. See uh, even meet most of my uh, direct reports and employees in the U.S. because, uh, you know, three quarters of my team is, is located in the U.S. And, and same thing for our meals. So it's been great. And uh, uh, I've been lucky also. I was at ISSA two weeks ago in Vegas. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I got my first chance to meet uh, people from the industry, our top customers face to face, not on Zoom. So that was uh, that was a, that was great for me. And it really gave me a chance to have uh, open and honest discussions on yeah. how we're performing, what we can do better. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, I've started to travel again. Awesome. That's great to hear. And it's good to hear that you attended ISSA. I mean, that's obviously a big show for the industry, a, a, along with some other shows. And on this segment, on, the, on our program, sometimes we mentioned, um, you know, what what is the show experience going to be like going forward uh, with COVID? 
And there's been mixed results this year as we're still trying to navigate that a little bit. How do you see it? Are, are, are you feel like shows are going to be back in full swing or do you think there has to be a mix of both? Or? Yeah, I, I think it's probably going to be an hybrid, uh, Brian. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's still merit to uh, all of us gathering. Yes. Uh, will it be in the same format that it used to be in the last 10 to 20 years? I don't think so. I mm -hmm. think it's going to evolve to something else. Uh, and, you know, uh, I want to be part in, in transforming this and, and take part of, of bringing this industry to the next level. Uh, we've discussed that together and it's uh, I think we're, we have to keep our minds open. How do we do better business? Uh, and uh, how do we transform these events? Sure, and, and you're right. You have to meet in person to be able to form those relationships. And that's why we preach a little bit of a hybrid, like you said. You have to have a digital presence nowadays to be able to get your brand out, your products yes. out, your awareness out. And then you meet in person to close these deals or to build these relationships. So a hybrid approach definitely is the way to go. Um, a lot of our, our followers like to know kind of what products are you coming out with? What are you excited about? What do you have in, in the pipeline right now that, that the, the industry should know about? Yeah, and I think, you know, what, what we did for the last year as, as the market was, was slowing down, we really looked at everything we had, the projects we were working on, and really focus on the top trends that we were seeing coming out of, of, of the market. Definitely, uh, hygiene is, is one of the top ones. Yes. And I'm super proud of our tandem family of, of dispensers. Uh, you know what? Well, we came out with this new line about two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the touch list, uh, the electronics, all of that, that fits super well with this new trend. Uh, not only are they hygienic, but they're also uh, have a very nice design, very modern design, mm -hmm. uh, but also they're very effective. So we're being, we're being, we've been pushing this new technology and we're going to keep developing this this line of, of dispensers because we feel uh, if we want to follow that trend of hygienic, yeah, uh, I think it's going to be important in the future to keep mm -hmm. supporting the industry with that. And I think the other big thing that we're working on, uh, and it's part of our DNA and who we are, is sustainability. Yes. Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm involved also on in the retail side, and I think sustainability is 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 a much bigger trend already on the retail side. Oh yeah. But I can feel it and I can see it coming also on, on the pro side. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're well poised because this is who we are. This is how we were invented 57 years ago as Cascades, as, as a company. So we're working on, on many innovations. Okay. We already have a very nice line uh, called Latte, which is 100% uh, recycled and offers great technology, same absorbency to our, our partners. But there's a lot more coming that way. Uh, so we're working on that. And I think the other big trend that we're working on is everything around e-commerce. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is there to stay. Absolutely. It, it, it's in pro. It's mm -hmm. there. We're seeing astronomical numbers. And as a provider of, of solutions, I think it's our role to be able to supply e-commerce ready type solutions, both products, packaging, um, box, everything that's shipping. So yes. this, these are things that we're really active on. And you know what? Uh, it's great because we have all the support because we also have our other divisions that are in packaging, yeah. our container board and our specialty uh, division also that's supporting us on packaging. So we're, we're well integrated and we're well poised for, for the future on this. Well, that's really exciting. Uh, I think a lot of our, our, our supplier partners that advertise on our website um, or on our platform, better yet, uh, are, are, are promoting these, this machinery now catered just to e-commerce. You know, it, it, it's e-commerce is such a disruptor now that, you know, it, it, it's, it's facilitating and making people think outside the box a lot more. And yeah. I, I, you, like you said, it, it's here to stay. So anyone involved in this industry, you know, it, you got to get to the market as quick as possible. So, um, yeah, and, it, and it's going to have an impact on the way we think, the way we develop, the way we produce. Mm -hmm. It's going to have an impact in our meals, uh, the way we package. Uh, so it, it's, you know, we have to look at this on a very high level, but also bring it down to the nitty gritty because yeah. everything is going to have to evolve mm -hmm. because this is there to stay and, and we want to be there. Yeah, in a very recent trend, I don't know if this is happening in Canada yet, but in the United States, 
you know, I, I go to the big box retailer and I'm going down every time I'm in a supermarket or, or, or big box store, I'm going down the tissue aisle because I love toilet paper and tissue and I just yeah. want to know what's going on. And, you know, what's going on now is that we're only being allowed to purchase maximum two paper products at a time and it's already empty, right? Yes. So thinking ahead, I, I'll just buy this online or, or, you know, I can buy it online. It's going to be available. It's not going to be sitting on the shelf. I don't have to drive there. So thinking along those lines, I think most consumers are going to go to the internet because they're already used to going to the internet. So. Yeah. And you know what, with the, with the new tools on internet, uh, you can also support and, and do automatic replenishment and things like that. Absolutely. Uh, it is a bit sad though, that, that the, the shelves are empty because, you know, there is no there is no lack of, of production. So, uh, you know, that's the big question, uh, question mark for us. Yes. Uh, I, know, I know people went uh, a bit crazy last year uh, when the pandemic started. Uh, but but to me, you know, uh, the production is stable. Things are going well. We can provide uh, enough stock and I know our competitors can also. So uh, but yes, it, it's a trend. People are shopping. They're buying many different things now on e-com. And you know what? Tissue is, is part of that basket now. Yeah, and that's a very good point to bring up. I don't want to scare anyone. People in the industry know that there's availability, there's product, there's material. Exactly. But the people that aren't from our industry watching are probably thinking, why? You know, why are we running out of toilet paper? And it's for those reasons you mentioned. There's supply chain issues, just like every other other industry is facing right now. So, um, exactly. you know, rest assured, there is plenty of paper, and there is. Cascades is willing to sell it to you too. If you're yes, anytime. Yeah, anytime. Um, so looking forward, you, you said some, is there any other projects you'd like to bring up or, or mention for, for, for the, the near future, maybe a five year? Yeah, for us, you know, we really want to move from managing this business to growing it. Uh, yes. we're, we're still, uh, we're still a, a, you know, a pretty small player. We're number four in, in, in the market. Uh, we want to grow. Uh, we want to partner with, with, uh, with our, our top clients, our top customers and, and grow the business. Uh, we have the brand, we do produce private label also, yeah. uh, and, and we're a solid partner. And you know what, what we want to do is really become more customer centric. Mm -hmm. This is something that comes out of, of, of what we created in our strap plan. And we really want to be perceived as, as a true strategic partner. Yes. Uh, for me, if, if you get to that status, then you can really have the real discussions that are going to allow you to good, you know, win-win and, and give provide good services. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all about. Uh, we're a family-owned company, even if we're now publicly traded. Yeah. Uh, uh, this remains into our identity. And, and we like to build strong relationships, but we need to do even more. And, you know, we've surveyed our, our partners and our customers, and they've provided feedback. And you know what? We're listening to everything, and, and we're getting ready to, to, you know, be better every day mm -hmm. that we can. And that's a that's another great point you brought up there, Francois, about um, being more customer centric. In your article, you actually brought up the term the thought leader in the industry, which I think is a very cool key yeah. phrase that you bring up there. Um, you know, our industry isn't sexy. It's not a no, it's not, not a it's not a sexy industry. It is a very commodity based. It's toilet paper, right? But whoever can reach that customer the best. Um, that's who people are going to stick with. We learned this in, in during the pandemic. Uh, we didn't have enough supply of toilet paper on the shelf, so customers were scrambling for for stuff that we imported from other countries here in the states. Yes. But after you know, after replenishing of the stock, they went right back to their brand of what they, they were familiar to. So um, who, whoever can make that stick, you know, and so I, I, I applaud you for that that mindset. Uh, I think customers really appreciate it and the industry will appreciate it as well. Yeah, and it's not just about, you know, for me, it's not just about selling cases or price. Um, we really want to be perceived as a, as a partner, as I said, but also bringing value added services, yes. you know? Uh, could it be supply chain? Could it be data, market trends, um, co-development uh, for innovation, things like that? Mm -hmm. And let's not forget sustainability. So these things are really the big anchors of, of who we are and what we bring to, to our partners. And it's going to be our sole focus, really. Awesome. Well, Francois, all that sounds ex excellent. I think that's uh, very exciting to have you on board. Welcome to the tissue industry. 
Uh, Tissue Online is obviously here to help you with whatever you need. And uh, for those of you watching that may be interested in Cascades products, go up to their website. Um, we'll, we'll post the website under Francois's name there so you can visit their page. Francois, thanks again for the time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brian. And you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm really encouraged by the future. As, as I said in that written article, I think this industry is alive. Uh, might, you know, I've suffered a bit of a step back with, with mm -hmm. COVID, but I think things are picking up and my team's going to be there to support. And we're part of this industry for, uh, for the long run. And uh, we're going to keep bringing some innovation, uh, great ideas, and we're there to support the industry uh, for a long time and uh, really proud to be working for Cascades. Awesome. Well, we look forward to all those innovations. Thank you, Francois. Thank you very much, Take Brian. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.